Hello students. In today's class, we are going to have chapter number six of class one, that is naming words for belonging. So we are going to have some naming words that belongs to somebody or something. So how we are going to write in English some something which is going to belong somebody? Okay, let us see. Please take out your book, page number twenty-eight. Let's get started giving. Read these sentences. First line: Mary is a little girl. She has a lamb. So Mary, a little girl, and she has a lamb. Okay, Mary's lamb is not here. Now the things what is belonging to Mary is a lamb. So we have to write what is belonging to Mary. Okay, so what is belonging to Mary? 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 Okay, so what is belonging to when something is belonging to somebody so here you can see that mary okay after mary there is apostrophe s yes. so we use this why because of this lamb this lamb is belonging to mary so mary is lamb it is none other but mary is lamb so how he is he is very naughty he likes to go to school with her the lamb's wool is white now the wool is somewhere belonging to the lamb or how it is in color it is in white now here we are talking about not lamb that lamb is belonging to whom we are talking about the wool wool is belonging to whom that is of lambs okay mary loves he loves her little lamb so here mary's lamb means the lamb belongs to mary and lamb soul means that the wool belongs to the lamb clear now when we want to show that something belongs to someone we use apostrophe s with the naming word as i explain in the beginning of the class example rina's cat apostrophe cats for apostrophe john's bag apostrophe and amit boots apostrophe clear now exercise a add yes apostrophe s yes to the words and write them down elephant so elephants will be like this elephant now dogs just write dog and then one apostrophe okay so like that all the answers you have to write first of all elephants dog girls tiger tigers woodcutters boys birds mans teddy bears peacocks doctors okay after doctor grandfathers okay exercise b fill in the blanks with the words and you made in exercise a okay so here in the picture you can see that there is a boy who is having bag on his shoulder so the boy is bag how you are going to write this the boy is bag see this then second is the woodcutter's axe the doll's tail this one then the man's laughter the girl's frock grandfather's carrots the tiger's roar the bird's the bird's wing then the peacock's feather and the teddy bear's balloon so in this way we have uh, completed here this exercise a and b in this chapter we uh, we know that what is naming word and how it is belongs to somebody or something so how we are going to write some belonging words we use simple apostrophe s to write this so in the next video we will talk on chapter number 7 for till that time student thank you so much and have a nice day